Hey guys, PlayStation Mommy, aka Shanti Patel here with another unboxing of the Ghost of Tsushima, I believe it's pronounced, not 100% sure, Collector's Edition. As you can see, it's a very nice box. And included, it comes with a custom steel book with the Ghost of Tsushima game, a Sakai mask, which is a mask and stand, a Sashamoto war banner, a Fershiki wrapped cloth, a cloth map of the island of Tsushima, and a 48-page mini art book by Dark Horse. It also includes some DLC, which is the Samurai PS4 dynamic theme, in-game items, one technique point charm of Hatchman's favor, Heart of Tsushima in-game skin set, mask, armor, sword kit, horse saddle, and a director's commentary roundtable discussion. So let's see what's in here. Let's pull it out. I don't even know how I want to go about this. Let's just do this. Okay. And let's see. Okay, so I already like it because it looks like it has a So here we have an all black box all around except the front it has some gold like foil like I don't even know like it has a shine to it that just says Ghost of Tsushima if I'm pronouncing it right I apologize if I messed up and butchered any one of those names and if you open it let's light that out we have here the oh interesting here we have the art book, which is actually different than the standard one. Actually, that's not even an art book. Here, I'll pull this one down. Here's the last of his art book. Usually, Dark Horse does it horizontal, and this one's actually vertical. So that's kind of interesting. It's black. Here we got some little photo going on. There is a slight print on this black and black. And I don't know if there's any spoilers, but like I said, it's a 46 page art book of the game. Honestly, I rarely go through the art books. So yeah, they just kind of just sit there like me. Anyways, this is even my collector's edition. I don't know if I said that yet. And here we have the steel book. Look at how nice this is. It has a nice matte black. And in a darker, like, color, it's like a grayish color. Like, it has, I'm assuming the main character, honestly, I don't know his name, with, like, the samurai sword. And then they have a gloss black pattern, which looks like that, um, I'm not even sure what to call it. It's the O in the ghost. And on the back, it has Sucker Punch. It has that gold foil Ghost of Tsushima also here. And let's see, so the inside, it looks like has this pattern. I'm not even sure if it has to see properly. Uh, like flowery. I'm not too sure what to refer to it as, but it looks nice. It has a nice pattern inside. The steel book, I really like, but I'm a fan of all steel books. If you watch my videos, you do know that. So, I approve of the steel book. Now, this is the exciting part. Let's slide this out. Um, I'm assuming this will be either the stand because it has some weight to it. have the directions as to how to build the stand for the mask and here we have the cloth items so I might have to pull out I don't want to completely destroy this bag okay so Do not 
not eat. I'm assuming it's like those things like moisture or whatever. So let's start with this. Here we have, this is the banner. Let me pull out this box just so I can properly refer to everything. This would be, I'm assuming, the Sashimo War Banner. Okay, um, I don't know. It looks like I was writing that goes this way. So maybe it goes this way. But then again, down here it says Ghost of Tsushima. So I have no idea what I'm looking at, guys. But it looks nice. That's what I can say. It has like a very, I don't even know, like, flowy look. I'm sure if you play the game, you know exactly what this is, and I'm just out here talking and having no clue. Here we have, oh, what is this? Or is this? What? This is, okay. Okay, okay, let me put that off to the side. This has that pattern again. I don't know how to refer to it other than the O of their logo, Gosa Tsushima, and or Tsushima. This is, I'm assuming, a wrapping cloth, the first sheet wrapping cloth, maybe? I don't know what you're supposed to do with this. I don't think it's the war banner, but go home. I like how weathered it looks. It has like this faded look. It has like this almost tear apart edges that look really nice. I'm assuming this is how like you hang it maybe because it's only on one side. So you'll be hanging it this way. But then again, it's this way too, which would make more sense because I'm just out here like brainstorming with y'all. This O has these like triangles facing up. So it makes sense for it to be hung this way, but it looks like it's also set up to be hung this way, whatever you prefer. I mean, it's your item. You've spent your hard work money on it. So you can do whatever the poop you want with it, right? <laughs> and here we have this, this is supposed to be, no. I think this is, yo, I am so confused. This must be the wrapping cloth. They tell me nothing. So, cloth map, the island of Tsushima. So, unless this is, okay, because this is, I'm assuming, okay, new theory. This is the wrapping cloth. It has this pattern. Uh, it has the same color, solid color on the back. Front is, I don't even know, it's like an olive army green, almost, but you can't really tell. Like it has like a gray tint. I don't even know how to explain this. This, I'm assuming, is the wrapping cloth. So then that would mean that this is the war banner, which would make more sense because it's like weathered and like it's been through some poop. And then here, that would make this the map, but I don't get it. Cause then, okay, that makes sense. There's like, if you look deep into it, it has like these buildings. This could be maybe possibly like little houses. That would explain what these Kamigata, Toyotama, and Izuhara. Who knows if I pronounce any of that right or correctly, but I'm assuming that means this is the island and like these are the bigger buildings. That's what I'm going to go with. That's my final answer. And here we have the stand for this mask, which is the most exciting part, I think, of this collector's edition. Uh, you know, I love like statues and anything, especially like helmets and masks, like I have a fallout mask. Okay, I mean, this is not coming apart. Why? Why do they get so much sleep? Like, you just enjoy to see me struggle. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so this will be the bottom stand. 
It is solid black, has the standard goes to Toshima, Sony Interactive Entertainment, LLC, made in China, has a number, I don't know what the number means. Little padding and footprints. Okay, this is a numbered mask. It does not say that, but here we have 00907, which is lifted or engraved in there, which is really nice. And then here we have the Ghost of Tsushima, Tsushima, whatever you prefer, whatever makes your little heart happy, how to pronounce it. And then here I'm assuming we are going to put this there and make it that complicated. Yeah, and I'm just going to try open this and it just like rips on through. It's through my life, guys. Okay, so I really thought this was almost out. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so then we put that down and then we're going to put the mask there. And then that means this is the, let me see if I can pronounce this, Sakai mask, which is the mask in the stand. We have the stand ready to go. And this looks super cool. Okay, it has like another one of these things. distraction off to the side. about this mask like the detail into this it has these gold looking teeth it's all black it has these like patterns it's like engraved it looks really nice the inside is like all red it has a made in china sticker my only concern okay it has these holes in here which i'm assuming line up right here and that's how you display it That looks nice. Like, I wasn't too excited for this game, but this collector edition, I'm becoming a fan. Now, like I said, my only complaint would be I wish I could wear this. Like, yeah, you can like put it up to your face and I probably look like uber cool right now, but like, there's nothing to keep it up. Like, I would literally need to run around like this. I don't even know if you can hear me, but guys, this mask. I'm gonna keep filming this a lot and I think I need to go buy one now, but I'm not going to because I need to chill on my spending. It even has like these little nose holes and like this mouth has like, so you can actually breathe in here. And yeah, so guys, this collector's edition, I think it's definitely worth it if you're planning to pick up the game. Uh, going into 2020, I told myself I was going to limit my game spending, so that's why I did not pick this up, but I'm kind of reconsidering that because I really like this mask. So, as you can see, we have all these items that it came with, and honestly, I think it's worth it. If this is a game that you're into or you have any interest in, I would definitely recommend to get this collector's edition. Because it's like one of those things that when you get the game, you don't really know anything really about it. So you're just kind of sitting there like, yeah, that's cool. But then once you play the game, it's like makes it so much better. 
So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thanks to What the Pop for allowing me to participate in this unboxing. And I hope y'all have a nice evening or morning or whatever time it is. Till next time. Bye.